All right, so today let's take a look at a slack adjuster. This one is a customer complaint where we have excessive brake stroke. We have an S cam right here, and that's gonna go out and operate our brakes. That's what's supposed to make sure the brake shoe goes against the drum. This guy right here is our slack adjuster, and the slack adjuster is gonna be operated by this clevis pin off my brake pot right here. This is my service chamber, and so we can see the service chamber is getting its service line from here, and the back side would be our park brake. And so we have our park brakes released, and that's why this brake is pulled all the way out. Our customer complains that there is excessive brake stroke. On an automatic slack adjuster, we should only have about one and five eighths to one and three quarters where the brake stroke. Now at maximum, an auto slack needs to adjust itself to be less than two inches. And so what we need to do, in this case, customer says excessive brake stroke. So what we would like to see is that this pin is operating and this one is for our no clearance adjustment. And so what happens is there's a vertical helical drive, sort of an offset angle drive right here, and a worm drive that's right here. And as the slack is noticed, so as the push rod travels out, any slack that's noticed is gonna rotate the worm drive in here, and that's gonna actually change the S-cam's position relative to the slack adjuster, and all that to say that the slack adjuster adjusts itself. And so if we have greater than two inches of brake stroke, this slack adjuster will move the S-cam position to take up that play so that the next time it's within range. You'll know a brake is applied properly also when you form a 90 from the center of the S-cam to the clevis pin back to the brake pot. So now the brake's applied. Now we're gonna be more careful not to drop a tool. Quarter, half, there we go. Now we backed off a half a turn. Reset our red donut. Okay, apply. There we go. And so now what we've got is one and three quarter to the inside of that red donut, which is what our adjustment should be. So somewhere between inch and five eighths and inch and three quarter. Release. <laughs> Apply. There we go. We've done it more than once. We can see that that position is less than two inches. So this brake is properly adjusted. But now if our customer came in with an excessive brake stroke, release. If they came in with excessive brake stroke, what we want to do is intentionally take it out of adjustment to its like two and a half inches worth of brake stroke, which is where it is right now. And what should be happening is that when we make a service brake application, this slack adjuster should be rotating this S-cam's relative position of the slack adjuster. And you'll see we scored it right here. And this scoring mark right here is to show us is this relative position changing even with our brake stroke being excessive? And so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna actually check the brake stroke to make sure that it is traveling further than the two inches and that this S-cam relative to the slack adjuster is not changing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see that there's a, a ring on this push rod that we're gonna be able to get a relative position. You're also able just to measure from the flat spot of a brake chamber to the center of the clevis pin. So in this case, it's at about three inches. Full pedal, there we go. So where we were at three inches, now we're at five and a half. So this is two and a half inches of brake stroke. And we can also see that from this flat on the brake pot position, our red donut here came out to about yeah, just two and three eighths, two and a half. Okay, so that's excessive. Uh, release. Okay, so we can see that the slack adjuster and the S-cam attempt, so they are operating sort of independent of each other. They do try and adjust, but they don't actually make an adjustment. My score mark has stayed the same. Reapply. And I can't seem to get any change. So what this confirms for us is that when the slack adjuster is backed off to this two and a half inch stroke position, it will not self adjust. We can see that our brake stroke is longer than two inches. The slack adjuster is not doing its job to adjust the relative S-cam position. And so our next move to this customer's complaint of excessive brake stroke is to replace this slack adjuster. DOT requires that if the equipment is on, it must perform as designed. And so this slack must be replaced.